What's up guys, in today's video we are unboxing and installing the Kama 2. So first of all, let's go ahead and unbox it and then we're gonna install it in my buddy's Honda CRV. So the packaging is very simple. So the first thing that you get is the Kama um, Eon itself, I believe what it's called. The exterior of it seems like it's like this 3D printed material, but it's very well built and sturdy. I think it's based off the OnePlus 5 or something similar, but you can tell that it is a smartphone that they are using. Here are the front camera sensors and the night sensor for detecting your face. So next up we have the um, harness. So essentially if you have one of their compatible cars, you need to buy an adapter. So this is for the Honda CRV. It's called the Nidec, but inside the box, Essentially what you get is a USB-C cable and a couple of adapters to convert the OBD port into something that the comma is compatible with. You also get a mount and you get an ethernet cable to hook it all up. Car goes to break. It doesn't really um, react well. We noticed, guys, in the 2015 Honda CRV that the wheel torque limit like inhibits the system a lot, um, especially for like not even that big of a turn. Uh, the wheel won't be able to turn enough. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Oh god, that's why you keep your eyes on the road. Okay guys, so after testing Open Pilot um, on this 2015 Honda CRV, the results weren't that impressive. Um, it does do lane keeping in straight distances really well, but any amount of turning that's very harsh or severe, the car isn't able to physically turn the wheel enough to compensate for that. So I recommend if you have a newer car, this system might be worth it, so definitely check it out. But if you have any older car and uh, if you look it up and there's a torque limit on the wheel, then yeah, you might wanna skip this system. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you next time. Peace out.